Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we will see a really cool technique on how to replace the sky in any photo using Adobe Photoshop. Alright fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and I will take the image we will be using and open it in here. Alright, now I'm gonna unlock it, so I'm gonna double click on it and I will name it model. Alright, now I will go and open uh, the, the sky image that we will be using and I will take it using my move tool to the other tab. Alright, now I'm gonna bring down the opacity of the sky image to around 50%. This way we can see where we want to replace uh, the sky, so I'm just gonna take it and pour it around here and then i'm gonna press ctrl t and i will make it a little bit bigger just like this as you can see i want the sky to be facing the model so i'm trying to find a place that will be a fit perfectly with it and i can stretch it a little bit actually yes like this Alright, I think this is perfect. Alright, and I would one click on this uh, check mark. Alright, now I'm gonna bring back the opacity to 100% again. And I will name it Sky Sunset. And then I will uh, take it and put it under the model. Alright, now I will uh, select uh, the model layer. And I'm gonna apply a layer mask on it. So I'm just gonna one click on this uh, layer mask icon. And then I will go ahead and select my brush tool and for uh, the opacity of the brush is 100% and the flow is 100% and if you have uh, the smoothing in here make sure it's set to 0% you know if you have the, the latest version of Photoshop and the brush I'm using it's a regular brush with 0% hardness alright and I will make sure that my foreground color is set to black and then I will make uh, the brush bigger just around here and then I will press shift on my keyboard and I will swipe like that as you can see this will make it uh, fade with uh, the, the image in here so I'm gonna do it for the top in here just like that all right and we don't need to worry about the model we're gonna go back and fix it all right now we'll go and I'm gonna put down the opacity of the brush to 10% and then I will switch uh, my foreground color to white and again I'm gonna do the same this time using uh, the white color so I'm gonna bring back from uh, the model image so I'm just gonna again pressing shift and swipe like this and I will do it for the top in here and as you can see this will bring uh, back from uh, the, the model image and it starts to blend together and this technique you can use it to wherever sky you want to blend with uh, with any images all right this will work perfectly now i'm gonna bring back the opacity to 100 percent and then i'm gonna zoom in here and i'm gonna try to bring this line of uh, uh, the model image in here so while using uh, white as my foreground color i'm gonna make the brush smaller and i'm just gonna follow this line in here just like this as you can see in here and I will make the brush bigger and I will delete everything in here and now I'm gonna zoom in and I will delete everything that's in the model in here so I'm just gonna using the same brush and of course you can you know do a better work with the brush but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna do it really uh, quickly all right so I think this looks alright now I'm gonna duplicate this model layer by pressing ctrl J and then I'm gonna delete uh, this layer mask from it so I'm just gonna take it and put it in the, the, the trash can in here and I will press delete 
and then I'm gonna go to image adjustment and I will choose brightness and contrast and in the contrast in here I'm gonna make it 100 and for the brightness I'm gonna make it minus 40 or 50 and I will paste ok now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to darken and as you can see this will blend it in the dark area and leave the white alone now I'm gonna apply a layer mask on it but I'm gonna press alt and I will one click on this layer mask and as you can see this will apply it as a black layer mask now I will select my brush tool again and then I will make uh, my brush bigger and again I'm gonna press shift and I will one swipe like this and I will do it in here too and as you can see this will blend the line with the sky perfectly now I'm gonna put down the opacity of it to around 60 or 70 percent and then I will zoom and I will delete everything that's on the model in here and of course you can do a better job with the brush but for the sake of the tutorial I'm moving faster so I think this looks alright as you can see now we have uh, this part in here blended really good with the, with the sky now I'm gonna make a new layer and I will name it light and then I will select my gradient in here and I will make sure that my foreground color is white and the gradient I'm using is white to transparent and for the type of the gradient is uh, the reflected one is the fourth one in here and then I will one click in the center and I will put it on top like that as you can see now I'm gonna put the opacity to around 20% and as you can see this will blend it with the, the sun in here now I'm gonna apply a layer mask on it and then I will select my brush tool again and again I will delete everything that's on the model in here and by doing that this will separate the model from the background of uh, the image which will make it to stand out more as you can see now we have a really good clear image just like that all right now I'm gonna add another new layer and I will call it light again and then using my brush I'm gonna make it bigger and I will make sure that uh, the hardness is set to 0% and then I will one click on the sun in here using a white color just like that and then I will put down the opacity to around 20 to 10 percent I'm gonna put 14 percent in here and again I'm gonna apply a layer mask on it and I will delete from the model in here alright I think it looks good now I'm gonna make a, a stand visible layer so I'm gonna press ctrl shift alt e and this will take a screenshot of our image and put it in a new layer and I will call it sharpen now I'm gonna turn it to black and white by pressing ctrl shift u and then I will go to filter other and I will choose high pass and for the radius in here just choose between 2 to 3 pixels I'm gonna choose 2.5 and I will press ok now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to hard light and as you can see this will turn the whole image sharp but we only need to apply this on the model so I'm just gonna apply a black line mask on it by pressing alt and one click on this line mask icon and then I will zoom and using white as my foreground color I'm just gonna start to apply the sharpen in here on the model just like this now I'm gonna put down the opacity of it to around 70% alright so almost done now I'm gonna take another stand visible layer by pressing ctrl shift alt e and then I will name it final and then I will go to filter and I'm gonna choose camera raw filter and in the first tab in here I'm gonna go to the exposure and I'm gonna put it down to around minus 0.40 now we'll go to the vibrance in here and I will add a little bit of vibrance 
that's around 15 and then I will go to the effects tab in here and I'm gonna add a vignette to it so I'm gonna drop down the amount to around minus 15 and then I would go to feather and I would put it 200 and for the roundness I'm gonna put it around plus 10 and I will press ok and as you can see this will uh, apply this really cool effect and now we can see the before and after so let me duplicate this one in here and put it on top and as you can see this is before and this is after alright and that will be all for this video I hope that you enjoyed and you liked this tutorial and this was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching